you know, with the, the uh, everything that we've talked about with the, the gray to gray combined with the plasma ball and graphics cards that are rendering, you know, lines and color better in chromatic aberration to create, you know, colors through dot points of, you know, math. Um, the point here is, is to have like the you know like we said even with this because it's interlaced you could have glasses that you could wear and of course they should probably be made out of bee honey yellow to protect your eyes from all the filthy piss that you're shooting into them you fucking nvidia piss heads and then you got that really like ammon said mellow mellow yellow like as though you take the yellow from amber out of the honey and you got that mellow yellow 3d for your yeah, eyes so then the, the screens are off until you put the glasses yeah. on and you put it in gamer glasses mode yeah and then the 3d is even more intense true yeah like the 3ds you can turn it up and down without any glasses on but you know it's using other technology yeah it's just they prefer interlacing so then it's better to wear cut glasses for that that, that translates the light to your eyes yeah I was thinking of an idea for gray to gray, you know, interlaced cameras where the black light makes the, the dark blackish color and, the, you know, the platinum makes the lighter color like my Ammon was saying and we already uh, uploaded. Well, what you would do is, you see, I was thinking about it when I was talking about black screen for green screening in things. Well, what if we had no color at all for the green screening? And because it's gray to gray technology, then it perfectly determines like shadowed outlines of everybody and everything, including into the shadows with individual interlacing patterns. So that you could, for example, film on a black background that's <laughs> like white or black, and then like it'll determine, you know, what's darkest about or lightest about the edges of somebody, say if they're properly lit. And then they can just be kind of removed from the environment automatically by the fact that, you know, their frequencies are a different gray to gray, and they can just be stenciled out super quickly by removing, for example, all the light, and then they're like a dark shadow outline in comparison to everything, and they have clearly defined edges, and then that can be used for a software program that, like, picks them out from the environment better, like as a base check for the edges of everything without any color bleed over and all these things you have to do. Uh, that seems pretty useful. The other way around, you can do it with white, although that probably wouldn't work for somebody like my skin tone. That's probably more for a black person, like you pick the black person out in white, because it's all about comparisons. So then you do it either direction to achieve the end result of defining the edges, you know, and making a complete person you know, so that you can composite them into images, same with anything else like an object. I think that would work pretty well. Like I said before, the concept here is that, um, like, it's two plasma balling effects, and you know how NVIDIA ordinarily shoots up from a spot underground anyways and goes every which direction to make every fucking texture which is insane well that was the whole point of the gray to gray little spheroids that can be calculated in 1.44 to 3.14 is that they just have you know lighter gray to darker gray to one side to, to imply without any color the gradient so nvidia doesn't have to crunch a bunch of numbers and it just automatically runs it because it runs gray nothing garbage easily and then you know up in the sky, you have a receiver plasma ball because it's best for NVIDIA Crossfire so that you can have it make the map with the below lighting. Like Eamon was saying, um, in... Well, everybody's gotten their spectrum of, um, I don't know, existence onto black light and platinum. That's what I've been trying to do personally. It's kind of been done unto me with the fact that I just got a platinum power supply because the gold one failed. Because it turns out you can't have a gold CPU and then a gold power supply and then radiation. The magnetics going through the radiation, you know, just follows it because it's not leaping a gap to a new thing. So with platinum, it's like actual electric platters. So. That's absolutely fabulous for slamming those down from the plasma balling from above to really create bright colors 
that when they hit the black light automatically diffuse into the correct color or frequency based on how, what, how it's interacting with the black light from below, you know, for the viewpoint of the screen, you know, end user. Yeah, and they meet in the middle in the dots and mm -hmm. one creates the light spots and one creates the dark spots and then they yeah. automatically have color as they meet on those gray dots and it creates Platinum rainbow will always, color. Yeah, split out color. And on those gray to gray like screens it looks amazing. Mm -hmm. Then they supposedly have color but it looks really fake and overly bright to me. Yeah, to me it looks like tiny rainbow bits magnetically filling everything out like I can see behind the magic but it's alright. <laughs> it works enough that you know, it. see here's the problem. It's fun. One thing I have to say about this is why I wanted to do this is I hate it when Nvidia says it has proprietary things. So yeah. this runs on AMD. It does. These reference dots, it can do it easier because they're round and yeah. it can, you know, emulate the same thing and not care because it's at least flow through. You see it's flowing because that was the problem yeah, with their mathematics exactly. is their soul is number crunching without a flow pattern. Yeah. And so this gives it to it so then it can just run pixel pipelines right through the, the quantum dots and just create bars of light. Yeah. There might be some, you know, you might have to adjust it a little bit because the colors will probably be too bright and things because... Because you're using actual gems so yeah. it's too punchy. You'll be like, ah, my eyes! You know, you yeah. don't want to do that. Like, you gotta be careful. Like, the screen we got here that we're looking at, or that we got in our room here, it's got pretty good black light. It, yeah, I'm pretty yeah. sure it's a butane screen, actually. Because we so. were looking at this. This is, represents, you know, butane kept updating. Look at all that math in the butane. Like, pow, 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 X65, you know, 5 squared, you know, it's incredible. Look at all that technology. That's just how active the gas particles in butane have become and how varied and structured and yet stable. It's pretty incredible. I love it. I like breathing a little bit of butane, and I slammed it into my hand on accident when I was real sick, and it seemed to make me feel healthier. Got some butane in my beard. Yeah, my, my point is, yes, people consume plant-based butanes for health and things a little bit. Yeah. Um, to gain weight. Yeah, that's what I did. The butane, uh, whatever I bought. Yeah, it anybody who's too weight. skinny, it'll make you a little thicker in the right spots. Yeah. Anyways, um, that's about it. I just wanted to further describe, you know. Yeah. So, like I said, why the solution is so good is because all you're doing is trying to create the synthesized effect of analog light all the way to the point where, you know, it, it is analog from uh, an NVIDIA graphics card, you know, and another one so that you have that you know, conversion table ready and able to go from uh, yeah. 1.44 to 3. Because, yeah, NVIDIA, uh, people just like the idea, the way their brains operate, of all the light particles being broken up to individual size and then stacked back. This works with platinum really well, back into platters that create the color. They just weren't doing that with their technology. They were just streaming it past yeah. a sensor so you just have a simple bit of software that just spoofs it like as if it's a uh, analog card, anything yeah. AMD ATI. Then you can run it with NVIDIA and then you can boost your power exponentially. And then, hey, look, you can run light through your NVIDIA graphics yeah, card. Yeah, because it's going somewhere. Although I guarantee that the plasma balling effect is going to probably be more intense and your graphics card is going to run a lot harder if you run well, that's it That's why we're recommending two. new screens that actually have laser frequencies like the video yeah. games themselves are running. Exactly. Yeah, so it all is visibly shown. Exactly. The camera turned off. The camera turned off before when I was talking. What I meant to finish with that I, I know people quote me on all the time is alien technology, as in you have to understand how stupid this bitch is who used to speak for, uh, and her, her twin test tube baby brother for like supposed AMD ATI. Because my Fury X graphics card, as if they just want to be relevant while knowing nothing about it, or, you know, its collection, connection to red cameras, Ruby graphics cards in general, they know nothing about the energy frequencies, they know nothing about anything about wavelengths, they know nothing about uh, technology, really, in general. But she was calling it Vulcan. What the fuck is Vulcan? Vulcan is Star Trek. That's why I was saying to her, it's alien. 
Nice old ladies don't fuck with alien technology that's so foreign to them. Alien meaning foreign. That's what you actually look at the word. That, you know, they start calling it Vulcan. Like, fuck that bitch. The interesting thing about um, shooting lasers at each other in midair of different, you know, frequencies, colors from different gems, whatever, is that when they hit in midair, they refract or become plasma or whatever they're going to do in a very similar way, like the same, as compared to frozen crystals with light passing through them. Like, they, be, they, they reach a heated state that's like the opposite yet the same in plasma and midair of a crystal that's frozen, you know, frozen yeah, gas. Yeah, because what people have to remember is crystals, even though they look like they're not moving, they're a frozen frequency of movement. They can even be high fidelity, that's why they're such beautiful gemstones that are used for computing in general. But let me explain. Just like a my crystal sync microphone I came up with, um, when you have an electrical frequency that goes through the crystal, even if there's metal touching the bottom and it's not resonating from two tiny points to make it supposedly more efficient or anything, it doesn't need to be. Because as any plasma electricity light passes through crystals, they automatically stabilize to a frequency by being sent at all. And the only thing that you could say would matter is, of course, having an AC-DC current so that it can send and receive through the crystalline surface. Yes. Or it might heat up, explode, do things. Yeah. And that's all anything does is just yeah. reach AC a DC, yeah, a frequency is, point. Is like loose electricity and electricity <clears throat> controlled through living energy of a living being mixing, basically. Uh, and you can read a, reach a frequency like the supposed mainframe of electricity. The whole grid is AC-DC. And I don't know if that's only for us where we are or if everybody's doing that where they are too. I don't know. I think every, they're, yeah, it's, it's, it's the same everywhere. They would at least have AC-DC converters in any Yeah, there it's DC-AC, but it, whatever. Backwards, but who cares? My point is still the same here. Um, that... What I was looking at, because they oh, we people did videos on what we already were, were doing, I, I got this idea because of the table that was sending and receiving light. Like I said, that this has always been capable. It's just been bulkier and bulkier in the past. So it was like uh, military technology planning, usually only for construction and stuff and like terrain. You have one above, yeah. which is just, you know, sending and receiving ions, like a, a screen, you know, with lasers. And then you have one below that's sending and receiving lasers. So when you look at it, it you know, what they already, you know, made it, it just looks, because it's receiving light into the same, like, sensor points, yeah. where it's, you know, near where it's sending them. So it creates up and down beams, and all together it just looks 100% real, you know, basically, if you have good enough CPU. Yeah, and since those out. have always existed and been shown off in movies, then why can't we have, um screens you know how we came up with and all video games are doing it for nvidia um you know the top and ball pla top and bottom plasma balling with the pixels hitting in the middle for the video game world well imagine if computer screens actually followed that logic um you could run it through you know one cable because there's multiple signal wires and like an hdmi cable or dvi or anything or if you needed to have completely two separate cables that go into the same screen. My concept here is once again, you just have the lasers from the top and bottom of the screen shooting out and meeting along. I mean, you could do it different ways. You could do it actually, this would be easier on people's eyes. You know how we came up with the DJI Pocket 2 to have slanted <laughs> sensors? And then you split the crystal incoming light to create, you know, a 3D refraction point. Yeah. Well, you could do that with, you know, a screen, you know, and start from the two corners, you know, far corners, crossways. Like how they measure screen sizes. Um, that would, in my opinion, would be better for people's skulls, eyes, brains, because they're all twisted, you know. But you, know. you could have it capable of running at different frequencies because yeah. the screens are so advanced now because diodes are just all along the inside of the screen. Yeah. What I was thinking is, because I've seen things submerged in water and stuff, you could even have, because it's such a controlled medium, a water layer is excitable like material so it's 0% yeah. gas and that like you know works really well. 
and or it could be know, hydrogen water. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. So it's like very motile and thick. And then you have, you know, then it, it's like still with that blue light technology that everybody loves from LEDs that have gotten really advanced into the, the final stages where there's, you know, tiny little pixels. That really yeah. Really advanced. Well, that light going up through the water yeah. is, uh, you know, it's incredibly effective at creating an yeah. image that has lots of filled out color light. If you use, you know, like like I said, a cord sync technology yeah. to make the it split every direction into it, and it would be even cheaper. That's what I'm saying. And, and could, it would be three D yeah. because the lasers excite the water different ways. Yeah, and create that that effect where you cut plastic to make it turn light. So you know when you look yeah. in different directions. Of course it would. All that refraction with different lasers at different angles going into the screen. To, this, screen. this screen. This is sounding cool. amazing. And you want to know why? Too, yeah, if you don't like that. Well, I like the uh, concept of the sandwiched hydrogen gel because then you can put like orange acid or whatever else in there oh, that's similar make it to make it colorful. colorful and blast, you know, the hologram like 3D out of yeah. you automatically. You could have an Naturally. extractive of oil like tartrazine. Yeah, you, you could do that with a tartrazine sort of water like you know, yeah. screen with all the like oil on water reflectiveness. Yeah, lasers. you could do that too. Yeah. Um. What was I going to say? Oh, yeah. The, the final stages of what I was going to say was... I'll just make another video. Okay, we'll stop here. You know, I'm really sick of people making fun of, and I don't know how they... It's like they're, they're so stupid, they don't understand, that I actually am putting a massive amount of energy into this, and this is no fucking joke, and... When you don't look into something and you're too stupid to understand it yourself, yeah, you don't understand that people. There's a difference between a you know mathematician and somebody who vaguely knows materials and sciences. It's called a uh, what? Is, what is that called? It's uh, called theoretical science, but you know there's applied science. It's called applied science, even though it's theoretical sciences. Yeah based on knowledge of material. Anyway, the point is, what I was saying, and I keep repeating is plasma balling and all of this, NVIDIA doesn't have good graphics because it doesn't have analog signals to pixels on a screen or you know, even to a gas screen. It's always going to perform poorly. And so what looks like infinite detail to people with soft, you know, softening eye vision and all these different things is not having pixels that you can see in a traditional way so why I, I came up with this is you have pixels that are um how do i describe it they're they're running a 3.14 pi color magnetic algorithm that can be sent out to the screen yeah, as a frequency and, yeah as a frequency that can be then be responded to by each pixel but like i said in order to do it properly you have to have it converted into round light, they have to understand they're still sending light from their graphics card. They have to admit yes. this. So that's why you're running basically in two different graphics cards, same as the sending or is receiving from plasma balling. From the centers, you're drawing algorithms at a certain speed that's choked. But the program like light, of yeah. light mm -hmm. you know, from the center of the square and the direct center of it out to the edges at all edges, same as out to the edges of a circle, you know what I mean, basically. Yeah. Because you're just generating a circle that is, how do I describe it? Um, it's just math, so it's not yes. either round or not round. That's why it's 3.14. But... And the choke on how fast you're generating these lines, a.k.a. the numbers out on the sides, equally in speed, make it a perfect conversion table when you run them together. It's not that... I've actually now explained it scientifically. I'm now really fucking smart, so fuck you. I rose up and told you to fuck off. That's the full implementation. Yeah, well, it is. Um, all I've got to point out is from a logical viewpoint, what the hell has everyone been doing? Because, um... Man, this is hard to... Uh, I'll start another video. NVIDIA, you guys are being kind of ridiculous because what? You're, you're crunching numbers. There's calculations going of electrons moving around. 
which then instead of directly hewing through any method of movement to a light color that can then be used on the screen, instead it's just the number of individual electrons like packets streaming, then it's received to an area that then even so has to then process the number of light balls and like stack them up and let them energize into color. I'm sorry, but you guys are fucking liars. Like at some point, the little bits of energy that are all being calculated and separated have to be combined back together. And that's the point where the chip is, you know, sending the data to the screen. So what you're obviously doing because you're so infected is having a chip that's like transceiving from the screen past the data particles from the computer and then they run through the same chip parallel and then comparisons are made magnetically and then it's sent back to the screen in this completely separate loop. That's what you guys have been doing. And you need to just take that chip point and turn it, you know, progressive, turn it straight on to the screen and let it go to the screen. And the screen, what I'm saying is, then performs the same actions with its lasers into the particles of the screen that your chip was doing. But then you're seeing it and it's producing the colors as it does it. Then yeah. you're in the modern age. What I was doing with this technology was fixing that automatically yeah. because number crunching, right? What's the easiest form of it? Running one of these algorithms, there's entire societies of the world and parts of yeah. it that are too mentally ill to do anything other than they put, they divide by 3.14, it's true. Yeah. They do all these things and it's just a brain damage, but it's just like these people that start doing all these algorithms just to determine something because their brain's so fucked. Yeah, because in fact, each twisting light particle because everybody's spinning, everything's spinning, um, needs to be hitting the screen directly because everybody's brains are twisted, everything's spun, their cortex is so if the light coming out of the screen is based on magnetic refraction property in a circle of pi yeah. to give you the whatever color, then your eyes feel satisfied, your brain feels satisfied as all the twists and spins are satisfied with energy and you can think about what yeah, you've seen. Because it's hitting all of the edges of the places that you see with yeah and it creates what you can see then it creates auto 3d it makes you think you're in the movie that's what i was saying i was saying nvidia piss x which is why it runs like crap is so fucking shitty that what i've created because the, you know i i haven't go stepped on anybody's toes too much it's a simple conversion algorithm, even for yeah. running game environments. All the light, which is the same as gravity and everything in their games, and in yeah. the game, really. So that they're getting, like, 75% more efficiency. Yeah. It makes their LiDAR, specifically, because I, what did we say every single time? When we point it at the screen. Yeah. Now they're pointed at the screen rather than cheating, you know what I mean? And now... It looks 3D. It they have does. No reason to be shitting on AMD and acting jealous or faking yeah. anything. They can be 3D too, so they can fall well, off. The data on DVDs all the way back in the day is so high, and yet you're getting so few supposed pixel pipelines. It's because it's stacked behind it, all the data, like thickly. So there was actually a computer program, whatever. Win DVD and Power DVD. They were competing back in the day around 2008, and they were allowed somehow to release technology for my AMD cards that would actually point and Intel. It would work for anything. I don't know about NVIDIA. I never had that. But it would point the fucking particles of data when you play the disc at the screen, like send the ionized data in a different format at the screen out at your eyes which was very possible with a lot of computer monitors. Instead of having it go this way, it's coming out at you as it shoots across the screen. And so, um, needless to say, every color was perfectly saturated and hued into the shadows and lights. Everything was depth 3D. It was beautiful. You had no need to go beyond that. Everything's already been worked out. And everybody's just too brain dead to even function and see it half the time. 
So they couldn't even appreciate it at that time. Me and Grant could and Christiana. Yeah, and so I don't know like what to say other than just the lasers and drives yeah. for the DVDs keep getting better and newer. Yeah. <laughs> They're more advanced than they need to be. Yeah. So if they're going to do that, then why wouldn't you have a laser that splits into a frequency, you know, as it modulates itself, that can pass deeper into the DVD? Yeah. And, and actually pull out that 3D data and force the ions to stack up on the screen quickly so it's pulsing out at you and creating 3D data. Yeah, that's the whole point of interleaved frames. That's the whole point of a digital era that does yeah. that. Uh, you know, I love solid frames, but I begin to understand finally, yeah, through my ignorance, that... Having a open-ended frequency with a small amount of leeway in there, whatever, a small amount of, you know, zone, allows for things to be added and subtracted yeah. evenly so that you have a rawer, better electrical connection of energy and light and data and anything, no matter what you're using. Yeah, principles, true. Um, this screen, of course, is absolutely terrible. It's just etch-a-sketching at some sort of polymer layer. Just the, each dot. Oh, absolutely just, terrible! And it's like made for Nvidia PISX. Yeah. Like, like what sub sub yeah. seven twenty. And so this is such a primitive kind of pre concept to what we were talking about, because it's sort of sending the particles and stacking them up into the etch a sketch screen to create the color. So in certain circumstances with Nvidia PISX, which we aren't using, it looks better. So this screen isn't very good for us. Yeah. But it's what we have. The other reason why I'm arguing that this program is the most efficient from, uh, you know, basically going between two graphics cards with NVIDIA and cross-firing them is because what you have going on is, um, at the, at the, the what, what I, you know, like quantum dot point, gray to gray dots, whatever you want to call them, um, where they're sending and receiving through them on the textures, you know, because everything's a skin on yeah. everything. It's just a hollow skin on everything in every video game. Um, then from either side where it's, you know, that it's transceiving and receiving through those, those dots and giving the equation, not one bit of mathematics is wasted, unlike theirs, where they crunch huge amounts and it's wasted trying to push it into color just to get enough electricity yeah. in the light spots. It's absurd. It's insane. It's like nuclear power in video piss X. Anyways... Um, what you're doing instead is all of the data that you're doing, that's why you just choke it at a certain ratio like they already do to, because they're just running algorithms at different speeds, which is horrifying. Yeah. So both of them are held at a certain speed of, of generating out numbers along, you know, their, their, their pi and 1.44 square, you know, which is just, you know, trying to go into 3.14, uh, and it successfully does it anyway. Um. It's, it's, it's sorry, my brain is, is just a second. I'll still, I'll still say this. What happens is all those numbers ordinarily wouldn't be used. They keep thinking wrong, like as if it's still their old system. But those numbers are every quantum dot of unique yes. lighting reacting yes, it in the entire environment. So not one number is yes. wasted in any of these two equations. The They're numbers are around. actually allowed to stack up and become the color physically. Yeah. It's a frequency. You have to understand, pi is a magnetic rounding frequency. A square, even though it's a square being run in this algorithm, is the same. It's infinitely squaring upon squaring, you know, like as if it gets more complexly square. So it's the same thing. What, what am I trying to say here? To summarize, fuck you, pay me, I guess? Okay. Uh, yeah, I like money, and I don't have any. But And also, um... The, uh, isn't, like, I just gotta say, right, didn't they launch the 1080, whatever it's called, NVIDIA card a while ago, based off of what we're saying now, because, like, around 2016, everybody went nuts mentally, all the graphics cards started resetting for NVIDIA, they removed hundreds of graphics cards from the NVIDIA lineup, from other companies they worked with over the decades, you know, and before they were even NVIDIA, other stuff. All that vanished and was replaced with 1080, 1090, etc. So what, we're up to soon 5080, 5090? And it's working off of our principles, where you either have a single plasma ball, 
or two because the, the 90 indicates that there's two within the card that are actually sending data together to create the point, the point where they meet and create the color, you know. Yeah, but that's just advancements of science. When yeah. you reach that point, that's just saying they're now efficient and small enough yeah. to fit them in the same space and work together so it's technically yeah. one card. What really bothers me about it is that all the other types of technology vanished at that point. As though eBay just inexplicably doesn't have all of that on there anymore. All the different websites, you know. And I've seen sellers, fake, you know, jihad looking people usually with like warehouses of things they couldn't possibly know how to use even. Yeah, I don't know that, what what the hell. Like I, that needs to all go back on eBay for five dollars. I had this rant at the uh, woman who supposedly and her brother. Uh, you know, who she, she might as well just be. They're just clones of each other, basically. I don't know, test tube babies. Huh. Anyways, they just act like they're AMD, they're Nvidia, yeah. they're both sides of things. I've seen them all over the place. I don't care if time space changed. You know, with a quantum fucking flux. They're so fucking bad. She doesn't know. I, I, I know it was her. She's on YouTube and she's fucking using. Well, I'll um, tell you how bad she is. Vulcan enabled yeah. red cameras, you know yep. what I mean? For, my, you know, like really f expensive Ruby graphics cards. Yeah. And she doesn't know the first thing about anything. She just goes through the fucking menus while sounding like she's withering because red light is used for sexuality. And so what resisting sex and then you you are being tortured in your nerves to death and she's getting stupider by the second they're really yeah. fucking stupid now and don't know anything they weren't very smart to begin with yeah what if they are just fucking holograms of light you know from people's brains with nvidia piss x yes there's the, there's piss light infections that yeah. pretend like they're human while they're actually a, a piss worm <laughs> in their brain. i don't know i fucking hate them so much i keep saying this people have quoted me while pretending i don't exist on saying Nice people don't, you know...